Bossing in V Rising is all about matching up the correct defensive skills and maneuvers to bosses' skills and attacks. A lot of this comes from the fact that every move is counterable, and so if you have the right skill and use it at the right time, you can basically never take damage against most bosses. Now obviously, usually boss fights get crazy, you make mistakes, and end up getting hit by plenty of moves. But what if I told you there is a way to give you a much larger margin for error by allowing you to pretty much always have your defensive skills available? So this strategy works by having slashers as a back pocket weapon and using a different weapon as your main hand in boss fights. Now two quick notes about this, this is only available once you hit iron tier weapons as slashers are not available pre-iron, so in copper you cannot build slashers, but for any bosses after you've gotten iron, this is a viable strategy. And second, you can also use slashers as your main hand weapon, you don't need to use a different one, but slashers are generally pretty bad for boss fights, so I would suggest using something else. So when you use the slasher E against a mob group or a boss, they do not like de-aggro or reset as they do in some other games. Instead, they'll just sit there and wait to see you again so they can start fighting you again. Basically, this means that every time you use the slasher's E in a fight, you just get to buy an extra like five or so seconds for you to just sort of chill out and wait for your cooldowns to come back up or just have the boss's problematic move go away. So if you're running, say, obviously you have a space, and then if you're running a shield as one of your abilities, which is pretty good against most bosses, you can basically rotate permanently between being shielded, having your space in the clone be out for your space, and be stealthed, basically giving the boss no good opportunity to actually hit you. Now, obviously being permanently defensive in a fight isn't super helpful, but basically this is more used to, if you ever make a mistake and use your space when you didn't want to, or use your shield when you didn't want to, or maybe you use your space and your shield both to counter moves, and you just need a little bit more time before they come up, you can just quickly switch to your slashers, pop into stealth, and just wait for five seconds for your space or your shield to be back up again. Now, obviously this has two pretty big weaknesses. One, if the boss is using an AoE spell when you go into stealth, it won't really matter that it can't target you because it's just hidden everywhere. But to be honest, there's really not that many of those spells in the game, and the ones that there are usually follow you and target you with AoEs as you move around, so they won't be able to do that if you're stealthed. And the boss would have to cast that before you go into stealth and not after, because if you're in stealth, again, it just waits till you come out of stealth, it doesn't cast any spells. Second, this means you also need to use your E ability as a sort of defensive save ability for yourself and not as an offensive ability to use on the boss. So if your preferred weapon is something like the scythe that has a really valuable E ability for killing bosses or the axes, this is sort of a big deal, but this weakness honestly isn't too big if you like using something like the crossbow which is typically a very very good option for the vast majority of bosses. The crossbow has a really great Q spell and the main one that you want to be using on bosses, but its E spell is more for PvP, it can have some effect on some bosses, but usually it's not that valuable of the spell, and so not using it in the boss fight is not that big of a deal. As you can see me killing Terror Claw the Ogre here, I can just casually use my shield and then use my space right after, and then use my Q on my crossbow and then not really get punished by it because I just go stealth after. If I were to do that without this stealth, I'd probably get punished. And then once I get out of stealth, my space and shield are back up and I can use them again. And then just go into my stealth again, pretty much giving this fat ogre no chance to ever really hit me in this fight. So if you're having trouble with some bosses in V Rising, I would highly suggest trying this strategy out. It does take a little bit of practice to get used to switching to them and then instantly going stealth and then switching back to your main weapon afterwards, but after a little bit of practice it will feel like second nature and boss fights will honestly mostly be pretty damn easy. Right